Welcome back, everybody. Today is the day that you are going to learn how to play The Rain Song by Led Zeppelin, one of their few ballads. But as you know, this is such a great guitar song and uh, quite confounding, unless you know the tuning. And once you know the tuning, then the chord shapes are all sort of pretty easy. And we'll go through all of that today. Hey, if you haven't done so already, I appreciate if you jump down and click subscribe and ring the bell. The bell lets you know every time I drop new content, which I do every single week. All my videos have jump links, so you can skip right to the part of the lesson that you want to see at any time and bypass some of my yapping. And if you're looking for ways to support the channel, I really appreciate that. Um, there's a couple ways you can do super thanks, which is right like throwing a tip in the tip jar below. You can join my Patreon page where I have tabs and chord charts for all the songs that I do lessons on in YouTube, like this one. And those will be available for download if you join that. And there's even a store, fun merchandise. All of that information is down in the description. Check them out. All right, the rain song. So this lesson's gonna be different, okay? I'm gonna not do a lot of talking in this lesson. And there was much rejoicing. So I'm just gonna show you the tuning. Um, you'll have the chords over my shoulder um, because there's no way I'm going to be able to tell you <laughs> what these chords actually are um, uh, in a music theory standpoint. Um, but I'll show you how to fret everything. Um, and like I said, if you join my Patreon, all of these things will be available for download um, for you to print out and have with you as practice. Now listen, I know for a lot of you, because I see it in the comments, you sort of don't like to retune your guitar um, on some of these songs that I do with, there's alternate tunings, right? Because maybe you have one guitar and you got to tune it and then you want to go back and play your normal so blues stuff and you got to tune it back and it's a pain in the butt. Please, if you like this song, and I know you like this song because you clicked on this video and you want to play it, and trust me, it makes all the difference in the world. You will be so happy when you play this song on the tuning that he uses and it's not that far away. It, it'll take you just a minute to tune it back to standard when you want to go back, okay? But just for those of you that have a problem with that, just go with me, okay? Okay, so number one, you do not have to have a double neck guitar <laughs> to play this song. I'm just fanboying on Jimmy Page. So let's talk about the tuning. So the tuning is very interesting. Um, it is uh, the, the number one string is a D. Your B string, you tune up to a C. Your G string, you leave as a G. Your D string, you tune down to a C. Your A string, you tune down to a G. And your low E string, you tune down to a D. So you basically have three pairs of octaves, right? D, C, and G. I don't know what kind of tuning you call that. Maybe it's modal. I don't know. Sounds like that. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and go through the song, and you'll see the chord charts over my shoulder. I may say a little bit, but not much. So here goes. It already sounds awesome. <laughs> you just pick up. string there. So that's the first part. Then you come up here to 11. Again. So there's a familiar shape. What you'll find throughout this is a few times you'll see familiar chord shapes, even though they're not the actual chords that we're used to, but uh, but it'll be easy for you, easier for you to finger because you've done them before. So again. So when it goes
those are the part where it changes, you slide that up. So that's your climb, right? You're just moving. And you're doing these little every time. And that little waterfall tumble thing that I'm calling it, to my ear, he's just doing the same thing each time. So now you're in this position. Whoops. And you go. So you're you're you'll find that a lot of the sort of arpeggioing our part arpeggio things that are happening in the song, it's just where your fingers already are with the chords and with the chord position that you have and the interesting tuning that's involved. It all just sort of falls into place. So at the end of that... Here. So those first three notes, they're just right there on the chord. Open. And then fourth on your fourth string. And you want to grab that with your index finger because your next chord shape is this one. Just going to lay that right across there. Right? So let's do that little part again. the full sort of verse formation, um, which we'll repeat, you know, throughout the song. Um, there's a couple embellishments that happen, um, so I'll call that out here. So I think um, when it goes all the way around again after the second verse, after it does the tumble... going to go back up again. So you'll find um, that really, when you're looking at the many of the chords that he's doing throughout the song, there's a couple shapes that repeat. Um, one is, and it repeats at different places around the neck, right? One is this shape. The other one is, you know, this shape. And you could have your your finger on that on the same fret as your bass note, or you can have it open. Because if you think about it, that shape is also the same as this shape. It's just open at the bottom. That's the same. That's the same as, right? And that happens, you know, so this shape is here. Call that shape one. And this one's shape two. Shape one, shape two, shape one, shape two, shape two. Just in different places on the neck, right? Um, so that was a big sort of key when, when you figure that out. Um, 
Okay, so then it goes into sort of the heavy part. Um, I'll play it a little softly just to show you how where your hands are going to go, but he usually kicks on a little, little more uh, overdrive on it, but uh, but sort of like this. Sort of climbing on the fifth string, and I'm sort of hearing that bass note on there. You could do this, and sort of live, I sort of hear that sometimes, and but on the record, I sort of don't hear that so much. And then you're up here, like a power chord shape. little lick there something like that right so all of those are usually around sort of two strings together So you're going running through that part, then you're back. Or if you really want to be fancy. <laughs> or try and bend it. I think that's a slide that you hear on the record. Here's an embellishment. Right. So all that's the same. Every all the parts that we've learned so far are just repeating, right? Um, so really, the only thing left is the outro. Um, and believe it or not, the outro is sort of the same thing that's going on with those two different chord shapes. Um, in the beginning, he's just sort of playing parts of it um, of the shapes. But so right, leading it leading into that outro section. <laughs> It's real quiet. Right, so this is just shape two that we talked about. I'm just not playing the bottom of it. Shape one. shape one that we haven't played in that spot before. All right? Let me do that whole thing one more time. This little tasty part I love. So here's another familiar shape. It's your sort of A shape. Um, you're gonna do this and leave your your first string open. But you're, if you're expecting to hear an A major triad here, you're not right because we're tuned um, differently. So okay, so you're starting off with this sort of A shape with that open uh, open first string. Okay, so keep your eye down here on my right hand where the picking pattern is. So you're going to go all the way down. And end it with two, three, two. Again. Okay. Now you're going to move over to just move your fingers over one fret, 
to what you would think would be a D minor shape, but it's not. Um, and you do this. So you're going to pick, uh, you're going to pick the uh, D string or the fourth string. I'm folding my pick back, so just to show you here. Now you're going to do a pull off on two. So. Now same shape, just on the third fret. Watch my picking hand. Okay, and then we're going to do a uh, walk down. So your chord shape is this, and you're going to pick the fifth, third, second, first. And you're going to end it with a regular old cowboy A chord shape. And you're just going to give it a big drag all the way from your sixth string all the way to your first string. And you kick on a delay there so you go bram 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 right so that ending one more time so pretty And that, my friends, is the rain song. I hope you learned something new today. There had to be something you learned new, right? Um, let me know what you think. And if you haven't done so already, um, jump down and click subscribe and ring that bell. I'll let you know every time I drop new content, what you do every single week. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this. And if there's another song you want me to take on and do a similar lesson like this, let me know that too. Okay, until next week, take care, everybody.